Hi, I'm David Rosenberg with Aero Farms. We're farmers. We build, operate, and co-own farms in warehouses, in cities, anywhere in the world, any time of the year. We focus on leafy greens on a performance standpoint. We grow at 22 crop turns a year. That's 16 days from seed to harvest on our typical uh, leaf that we're growing. Uh, we've grown over 250 different types of leafy greens. And that's versus two, 22 harvests versus conventional greenhouses might be 12 harvests a year. Conventional farming might be three to five harvests a year. Um, we use less than 90% of the water of conventional agriculture. Um, and we grow pesticide, herbicide, fungicide free. From um, a macro standpoint as well, uh, this is solving some of the world's greatest food issues. From food scarcity, how do we feed a world of 8 billion people? Putting food, this is just like distributed energy, this is distributed food generation, putting food in the cities where the mouths are, disintermediating the supply chain. So from food uh, scarcity to food security, um, the E. coli virus and all the viruses coming out to pesticides, herbicides, and people, a lot of the reason why people go organic is the concerns about chemical contamination of the food. Again, we grow herbicide-free, pesticide-free, fungicide-free to water scarcity. I mentioned how we use less than 90% of the water of fresh ag in the U.S. Uh, over 75% of, of our fresh water goes to agriculture. Um, to uh, issues of depletion of arable land, we use a soilless approach to agriculture. Our growth media is cloth. Um, to waste, a lot of we focus on leafy greens because from the business plan standpoint, it has one of the high, highest uh, categories of spoilage. If a plant, for, our, for instance, has 10 days of shelf life and it takes six days to get it to the consumer, what if we could grow it where the consumer is so they get the food in one or two days? So you have higher nutritional value, better taste, less spoilage. Um, also, from a business plan standpoint, we chose leafy greens because you could grow a lot in a very dense environment, and we grow vertically. So to illustrate what, what these systems look like, if you imagine an 80-foot long shoot um, on a conveyor belt of cloth, you seed it on one side 16 days later versus a conventional possibly 30, you harvest it on the other. It goes through, and as you go through, you have a system, it's called aeroponics because you have a system of spraying nutrition underneath the cloth, so the, so the roots go down, the plant goes up, and then you have a sequence of LED lights that give the plant the spectrum that it needs. So our IP covers the cloth, the LED spectrum, and getting the right sort of um, plant environment for the, for the plant to the whole design engineering that helps economies of scale. Uh, we've been around historically, we've been around since 2004. Uh, we've raised our Series A from Corcus Trust and 21 Ventures. We're looking for our Series B. Um, the technology comes out of the Cornell School of Ag, where our, our technology founder uh, headed uh, technology uh, transfer. Cornell has one of the leading schools of agriculture. We have five farms up and going um, from Chicago, Seattle, New Jersey, Ithaca, Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, and we're building one in Dubai. We have a strong pipeline of projects. We have a leadership team. Uh, myself, personally, I've uh, led, founded and led a nanotech clean tech company. Our CMO, who's here, ch Chief Marketing Officer, is serving leafy greens. Please go try some, uh, some arugula and um, some Asian greens. Uh, he, led it, he led marketing at the Food Emporium, a major retailer. Uh, so this, this money, we've uh, come up with a business model that's a franchise model, uh, where we have, on a farm in the U.S., we have about 50% gross margins. Internationally, in our pipeline, one of our projects in Russia has more like 70% gross margins, because there they import everything, the quality stinks, and they pay twice as much as they would in Whole Foods. Uh, so it's, um, it's strong. And then the franchise model allows us to uh, scale up fast without putting a lot of capex into it. Thank you. Thank you, David.